Hey guys, welcome back to GNF Legacy Farm. Kelsey here and happy Valentine's Day. We're just going to do a cute short little video for you guys of what we are eating for Valentine's Day. And it is a little chilly here in mid-February in Michigan, but that's not stopping us. We are still going to grill our dinner. I don't know who uses the grill out here in Michigan at this temperature, but we do. Now for the last couple years, we have had our Valentine's Day dinner at home. Uh, we don't really have any desire to go out. There's usually too many people for us. And honestly, once you raise like really good beef, it's hard to find anything better than that. So we prefer just to cook at home and enjoy our own company. And then later on in this video, I am going to show you how we make ice cream from raw milk. Now this is not a cooking video by any means. I just kind of wanted to, it's more of a vlog. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what we're doing today. We're simple folks, so for seasoning, all we really do is salt and pepper on it. When you have good beef, you don't need much else. You'll never see steak sauce on our table. So one thing I do enjoy with a good steak is some sauteed mushrooms. Now you'll notice throughout my kitchen that I do have a lot of uh, pioneer woman, bass at home things. I don't know if you guys have ever met our dogs. We do have two adorable bass at home. And I'll include some cute footage that I took of them the other day. So you guys can start to meet them and you will see a lot more of them, I promise. And here you have it. This is what the beef farmer eats for Valentine's Day. I also added a chopped side salad, a baked potato. Well, we're going to enjoy our Valentine's Day dinner and we will meet you guys back later to show you how we make ice cream. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to separate cream easily without a cream separator to make our homemade ice cream. Now, this is raw milk. We don't have any animals in milk on our farm here, but I um, participate in a herd share. So I get raw milk that way. Here in Michigan, it is illegal to purchase raw milk, but you can get it through a herd share. So I'm actually part owner of that animal. Now you can kind of see here, um, the cream rises to the top and then this is more of like the skim milk here towards the bottom and if you're not used to seeing this it is kind of it's kind of gross if you're not used to seeing it I know it kind of grosses my husband out a little bit um, but the milk is lighter and then you'll see the cream on top so there's a lot of different ways you can do it um, I scooped it out to I already um, put some in here from some other milk that I had. So for our ice cream that we're going to make, we use about just under a quart of cream. And what I do is I just pour off the top and you can see it like you'll be able to tell if you are pouring like just the milk or the cream and then like ever so often I'll just kind of stop and let it settle again and then if you were just going to drink this milk you can just shake it up and it'll distribute again 
Um, and then after a while, it will settle. That should do it. I also make my butter this way as well. I will separate the cream and then I put it in a small blender that I have and it's really easy. I will do a video of that someday too for you guys to see. Okay, we make our ice cream with our KitchenAid mixer. We bought this attachment for it. It is a bowl that you keep in the freezer. It has to be frozen for at least 24 hours before you can use it. And I will um, and I will put the link for that down below. So all we use for our ice cream recipe is fresh cream, sugar, vanilla, and a pinch of salt. Make sure that you have the attachment running before you start to add any liquids or else it will freeze to the bowl. Ask me how I know. So like I said, we use just under a quart of cream, a quarter cup of sugar, About a teaspoon or so of vanilla and a pinch of salt. It's very important that you keep it um, going the entire time because if you stop it again it will stick to the bowl and we just keep it on the lowest speed possible. Now we did add just a little bit more sugar uh, this recipe is something that we've kind of tweaked a little bit over the years. I like this recipe because it's super easy and it doesn't require a whole lot of ingredients. We have tried over the years to experiment a little bit with a little bit more milk and some less cream, but we just didn't, weren't happy with the results that we got. Now it's only been a few minutes, but you can see it's already starting to thicken. It can take up to 15 minutes. Guys, it's starting to thicken even more. Look at that. Now, we have found that doing smaller batches um, will help it firm up faster. So that's why we only do up to a quart at a time. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you, this is the end result here. And then what we're going to do is we will take it out, put it in a bowl, and then we pop it in the freezer for about an hour. So that way it'll firm up just a little bit more. At this point, it is like a soft serve ice cream. Guys, look at that. I can't wait to enjoy some fresh ice cream.
I know there are other ice cream makers out there, but we are very happy with our KitchenAid attachment. If you use a different type of ice cream maker, feel free to tell me about it in the comments. Okay, and I just kind of want to show you guys real quick. You can see, you know, it is pretty thick, especially uh, it came out pretty quick today. And like I said, we're going to pop this in the freezer for about an hour. Okay, this is my Basset Hound Boots. She's our second Basset. Um, our other one is four years old and this one is eight months old. Well, hi boots. You guys will be seeing a lot more of her. She's very energetic. This one is definitely a little spunkier than my other Basset Hounds. And when people tell you that Basset Hounds are lazy, this one is not despite the yawn. I promise. Well, thanks for spending Valentine's Day with us, and I hope you enjoyed getting to see how farmers eat for Valentine's Day. Can you say bye, Boots? Bye, guys. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> well, happy Valentine's Day to you too, Boots. And I hope... <laughs>